During winter, it may seem like nature has taken a break. Only the hardy animals remain, and they may be hard to find, especially those that live in water. Turtles and frogs enter a state of hibernation, hidden under logs, rocky overhangs, or partially buried in mud. But brook trout follow a different strategy. They remain active, although at a lower level, living for months beneath a frozen ceiling of ice. To survive through a northern winter in an ice-covered stream, lake, or pond, brook trout have a number of adaptations up their fins. Their first challenge is to find good winter habitat. Brook trout search for locations with deep pools, woody debris, submerged vegetation, slow currents, and root structures in the stream banks. Stable ice conditions are created here, as well as in beaver ponds and similar locations. A second winter challenge is a shortage of food. The solution? Brook trout enter survival mode, reducing their metabolism as the water temperature drops. This slows their digestion rate, enabling the fish to expend less energy and survive for longer time periods between bouts of eating. Trout also shift their diet, eating insects drifting in the water column, such as mayflies, midges, stoneflies, and blackflies. If food is unavailable, brook trout tap into fat and protein stores, but starvation is possible in small and young fish. Their final challenge in winter is a lack of dissolved oxygen. Although this may not be a problem in a flowing stream, in a lake or beaver pond, it's possible for oxygen levels to drop too low. Brook trout are less flexible in their oxygen requirements than some fish species. They prefer well oxygenated water of five parts per million or higher. However, Brookies are a resilient species, which have evolved to survive in New England over thousands of years. Out of sight, out of mind, surviving under a ceiling of ice.